it's been a long time since I posted any type of video. Um, but I'm out at my mom's and we have a target set up with a bottle cap uh, screwed to the middle of a piece of cardboard with two license plates behind it because I want to test the power of my new SIG MPX. Right now all I have running it if I can get the stock off is I got the CO2 adapter for it. I plan on running an HPA system bottle eventually to make it a little bit higher powered but really all I'm going to be using it for is like 30 feet and under mainly so we are going to crack the CO2 oh it is a ASP advanced sport pellet rifle 177 cal right now I have loaded Crossman piranhas that are 10.51 grain I believe and I loaded up the magazine with those when I initially got it so I do want to see what those will do and I also have some gamo red fires that I'd like to see what they do as well so we are gonna load it and charge it and see how she shoots this is the first time I'm shooting it I've done a whole bunch of aftermarket stuff to it I put from my G&G &G armament airsoft rifle uh, it's an M4 uh, M4 style rear sight that's adjustable both up and down and also left and right uh, Hiram Red green dot with a laser, which I want to get this sighted in actually is why I brought it out here. Um, I put a rail on the bottom and took this off of my Crossman DPMS. And this is a Magpul foregrip off of one of the rifles, I don't know. And I strapped a flashlight to it just it's gonna be for like home defense if I need it so let's see how she uh, handles get the camera set up see if I can do this effectively I think I can I do want to come around to see what it looks like yeah that should be good Didn't even hear any CO2 leak. That's fucking awesome. From the factory sites other than this guy, but this guy was pretty well sighted in on another M4 style rifle. Same setup, so pretty sure it should be dang close. We are just going to run an open sight, no red dot. Bam! Wow, that's dead on from the factory. We're going to turn the red dot on and we are going to fire some off. Wow. That was fucking awesome. No more bottle cap for sure. Knocked that sucker off after the second shot. First shot knocked it dead off center. But 
pretty damn close. I was firing pretty fast. Uh, where is the bottle cap? Don't know. Knocked that thing off somewhere. I want to see what they did to the... So they definitely all went through the cardboard. Woo! It knocked the bottle cap through the cardboard. And there are all the pellets. And they all put some pretty decent dents in. Wow. Some damage. Wow. That's awesome. We are going to load this puppy up with some Gamma Red Fires and see what she does. I actually want to... Take them down and you can see there's some BBs in there, some other stuff in there, but there's a couple pellets, but I'm sure they are all going to be centralized in the middle, right around that central BB there. So I'm going to put this back in and then I'm going to pause it because it's a bitch to load, actually. <laughs> it's going to take me a couple minutes to load up a 30 round belt. So I'm going to pause the video and come back. Sig Sour. Okay, side note. I just pulled the CO2 off because I want to do it with a full can. And there was almost none left in the CO2 on 30 rounds on the adapter. So, and I know you can't keep it charged. Uh, you'll wreck the seals and everything in it. I've read a lot about this before I started shooting it. And it's good to know that you can get one full canister and then there's like barely anything left off a 30 round belt. So I'm loading them in. And I'm putting them in flush first, and then you got to use this little tool to seat them all. So that's what I'm doing. Now I've got them all flush, and I'm going to use the tool and seat them all in. So now we've got our Gamo Red Fires in, and they come out just ever so slightly past flush so I hope I don't have any cycle issues but I've seen other people fire these same pellets with the same rifle making videos so I'm hoping that all goes well I got a 40 pack of Sig Sauer brand cartridges, CO2, 12 gram cartridges with it. So it's not like I'm going to run out of air anytime soon. So we're going to charge a fresh one and let her rip again. And I almost want to try to do this from a different angle if I can. Um, hmm. Not the easiest in mom's backyard, I guess. Wish I had one of them little gimbal things. That's probably, you know, that's probably good. I hope the wind don't, oh man, hope the wind don't knock you off and still have that same field. Should be fine. So I'm going to load up another CO2 and let her rip.
All right. We are locked and loaded. Here we go, Gamo Red Fires. That thing is a fucking blast. Wow. Looks like they're just lay. It looks like a different view. Like they're all just laying there. A lot of them did what they were designed to do, where the tips separated. So that's awesome to see. Wow. Oh, that's a Crossman Piranha. You know, in all the videos I've seen, I've wondered how dudes can tell their pellets apart, but I guess I can see now. So I just fired two different kinds of pellets. Well, they're different color, too. The... Gamo Red Fires, I believe, are a lightweight, very lightweight. Those, wow, can't even get them out of the board. They're in there. A bunch of them hit each other. Ooh, one tip stuck inside of another one. Wow, the damage that tip did. See what this puppy looks like. Can I get it out? Yeah. Man, tip intact. Wow, I bet you point blank range that thing will go through uh, one of these license plates. I almost want to test that theory real quick before we put it away. Uh, we might. Yeah, how would I put that? would have to try to put that here. Yeah, we'll put that there. And we will put the heavies in there because I want to see what damage they do actually. So we're going to load up one more round, and then we are going to wrap it up. Almost done. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to do this right, but I'm going to try to set you up so that you can see what I'm doing. So now I've got all the pellets loaded in and seated with the little tool. And then I'm going to just let it like fall into the magazine and then kind of feed it in like that and then it'll come around and it slides in there really nice and close the little door and oh really wow I should have known that was gonna happen but oh well sometimes stuff happens they didn't go far. They're all right here. So, this adapter kit it came with a little tiny rubber grommet that you have to reuse every time, and it came with three of them. You set this down into the little channel, and I had to use, when I changed that out the first time, a little Allen wrench end that I was going to use to adjust the laser, but I don't even think I need to adjust anything. So make sure that's seated down, and these come pre 
siliconed from SIG, which is nice. I should have Pell gun oil, um, but I don't. I should. I should have brought some. I have some, but okay. So then we are going to screw this on, and like I said before, once it. Okay, so now I just made contact. You don't even hear any air leak. It's very, very high quality. I have a lot of different rifles and air guns, and the majority of them, you hear them leak. So we are locked and loaded. We'll pull the charging handle back. I think we are already ready to go. Okay, well, I'll keep it on safe. We're gonna try to go through this license plate over here. So, hoping none of them ricochet. But they are heavy, heavy. So I want to see the damage these puppies do. And we're going to shoot from pretty close. Wow, almost went through. All right. Well, we're going to put the box back up here. So I let one go, so I got 29 more. Wow, tighter group for sure. Ooh, we penetrated. So, once they started hitting, they penetrated a license plate. One of the Saab license plates. Wow, that's fucking awesome. Okay, well, I guess the one thing I have to say about this rifle is it's fucking awesome. And if you want to treat yourself with your stimulus check like I did to a $169 bundle of awesomeness from Amazon you should buy this thing if you don't buy it for yourself buy it for your kid and then shoot it because it's gonna be a blast uh, all I'm able to own as a felon is air rifles and such and this is formidable and after I put an HPA system on it it is going to be three times more powerful than it is so that's pretty fucking awesome. Thank you, Sig, so much for such a high-quality piece of awesomeness. It's metal. It's all metal. Weighs like seven pounds out of the box. It's a realistic weight of the MPX, which is what the Navy SEALs use. 
So thank you, Sig, and thank you for making an awesome, awesome thing. Air rifle. Awesome. Big thumbs up. And a big ass smile on my face. Picked the wrong house, pal. Holy shit. <laughs>